Okay, we're going to show you how the input method in Python can be very dangerous in version 2.7. Uh, so here's what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to cover, uh, first of all, uh, the input uh, where you give it a prompt method really does an eval on raw input for prompt. So raw input is, the, uh, is an input method to input a string from the user. And so this inputs a string from the user and then it evaluates it and we'll show you in our demo uh, why they originally liked that in 2.7. But this causes some great security problems and we're going to demo that. Uh, now they fixed it in 3.0 and beyond, but if you write code to run in 3.0 and someone runs it in 2.7, it can still be an issue. Um, so, but we're not going to cover how you would fix that. You'd probably have to check the version uh, that your, is, your code designed 3.0. You'd have to do some if on the version. And the fix is always to use raw input instead of input in 2.7. So let's look at our, our demo here. So uh, we're going to import OS because uh, that even opens you up to more holes. We're going to show you that. And uh, we just have a three, uh, two line program. We're going to get someone's age, input your age using input. And then we're going to print out what your age is. Very simple. So let's run that. And I'll say my age is 20, 35, and it prints out 35. And you can put an expression. I can say my age is 3 uh, times 10 uh, plus 5, and it's going to calculate 35. So that's why it does an eval. But here's the dangerous thing you can do. Uh, I could read a file. So I'm going to read the password file on my system. Uh, this may not work uh, on a Windows system, but you could try reading a different file and it'll work. And so I'll put this in. Oops. Uh, so I'll run the program and put that line in. And you see it reads the password file. So the next time it asks for age, I'm going to write a file. So this would write a hidden file. Uh, it could overwrite a, a file, so this kind of indicates you could overwrite your bash profile and put some script in there, or maybe append to it. So we're going to copy that, and we'll paste that in. And uh, it returned none, so you don't get a big clue it's written a file. But if I cat uh, uh, dot and you can see it's got, there it is, it's got hidden commands written. Uh, you can get a directory listing, so you can also, if OS is available, you can do these uh, system command, which allows you to run any Linux script on a Mac or Unix, or now PowerShell. So, uh, oops, I don't want to run it directly. So first I have to run the program, and then we'll run it. And you can see it, it, uh, it prints out a directory. So, and you can see it reveals the username. Uh, and then if you have curl installed, and you could do something like this, which would uh, upload a file to some uh, website. So we'll run that. And it's not going to work because I have a fake website, but you'll see it's trying to because it gets a curl error. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so remember, you can always fix this by using raw input and that'll mean it won't do this.